see, little guy. Yeah, Easter Bunny. The Easter Bunny. And there that bad fellow is right back there. Ryan's all pumped up. He can hardly wait. How do you like those decorations, Jim? Huh? That every expense has been spared. And there's the old girl sitting there doing nothing. Doing nothing? I've been sitting here for an hour. Doing nothing. Who are you going to see, Ryan? Easter. Are you pumped up for the Easter Bunny? Are you pumped up for the whole guy? I can I know you can hardly wait. Look at those tools back there. They're beautiful. They're real, too. And so are the mums. And so is the dad. Baby, what's that green thing on the end of your nose? Are you picking lunch again? <laughs> no, it's what you call artificial marker. I think you were picking. Dad, what's that brown thing on the bottom of your pants? Is that, were was, you picking lunch again? I was, I was getting you some supper. No, you were picking your Move up supper. in line. Move up in line, guys. Ryan, move up in line. There you go. Not too shabby. White dogwood. Scoop it should be down here. Dog for a dog. What are you all smiles about, boy, huh? What are you all smiles about? Are you happy? There they go, Santa the Easter Bunny. All right. Tell Easter Bunny what you want, Priest. I'd like to have a picture of you. Well, I want one. I don't know if you want one or not. What are they? One. Five dollars. Five dollars? Okay, I want to make sure it's good and light. The Christmas picture was yeah. too, way too dark. Way too dark. Yeah. And yeah, did they come out white? Light. Did they come out light? Hey, back up so that the Easter Bunny... Can I see how this comes bunny. out? Then I'll get... You guys spread apart a little bit so you can see the Easter Bunny in the picture. Ryan. Ryan spread and out. David spread, spread out. out. There. Those boys are chumps. They're mesmerized. Look up at her. Give her a big smile. Give me a big smile. All right. Great job. What? Okay. First he wants to see mine. I want to see how yours this turns out. They can come bring them back. Yeah, Jim, these little characters are pretty neat. Look at that rabbit back there eating that carrot. Yeah. Looks a little bit like Scoo, doesn't it? <laughs> what are you laughing at, Ryan? No, that reminds me more of the old woman. Is that right? Who's the old woman? This is pretty nice what they've done, Jim. David, let's go find Mom, okay? David, let's go. It is Sunday, March 17th, 1991. It's early in the morning, and we're on our way to Hinkley to see the buzzards come back. But I just had to stop and tape this. This is without a doubt the most massive wall, most massive uh, toilet, paper. toilet papering job I've ever seen. I got to get out of the car because I can't twist around good enough to show this to you. Without a doubt, the most massive toilet papering job I have ever seen done on one edifice in my entire life. Somebody came out here and papered their batuckies off. What? They spelled summer on the ground. Summer? Yeah. S U M M E. Ah, yes. And this. Chamber of Commerce. Buzzard Day, March 17th. This makes it official. Hinkley Chamber of Commerce. What's that say? Buzzard Day. March. Oh, she. Yeah, but I didn't have the whole camera. Yes, you did. I Don't mean, walk out in the street. I'm not. I didn't have the whole sign. That makes it official. Are you kids ready to go get some pancakes? Yes. Then let's roll on. Mom, I feel lousy. What's wrong, honey? Everything. Got downwind of your breath again, didn't you? That'll do it every time. Here they come, heading down the sidewalk to the school for some of those pancakes on Hinkley Buzzard Day. Sunday, March 17th, 1991. Look at the little guy. He's cool. Well, he's he almost bumped into a guy because he couldn't see he's, him. He's checking for buzzers already. That boy can't wait. It is so good. <laughs> 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 
get milk instead of that uh, corn. Gary, come on, leave me. All right. It's Sunday. It's Monday. Oh. <laughs> One day won't hurry. Okay, if you say so. You sure? Are you going to be able to down those pancakes, little guy? And the sausage? Huh? You think you'll be able to down those? You know your mom will. I'll try. There, because this, she's a we call BB. She'll probably go for seconds. Shut up, shut up. This is my favorite song. What do you mean your favorite? Shut up. Look. That's a new tear. They must be good. Yeah. They've all wiped out two of them. I only filmed the halfway, Renee. How do you like it? It's okay, I got it for free. <laughs> what do you mean you got it for free? I mean, I mean, I paid him. You better pay. You're supposed to pay. Well, he told me I can just keep my money. So I, I kept my money. Well, that's pass it back to you. Uh, I kept my money. Well, pass it back to you. Oh, okay, I'm going to need more anyway before the dinner's over. I'm so hungry. You need another pancake, David? People are saying it's too sweet. I think it's bland. Hey, little guy, you gonna eat another pancake? Down that sucker? Maybe. I don't know why people thumb when they see a camera, man. I... And he apparently passed away because he suffered a reaction to the anesthesia. So who knows how much longer he could have lived. It's been so he's got a couple problems. Number one is you just don't have dead animals all over the place. They're... And now there they go, heading a lot to find the old buzzard roost. Yeah, Mom, we'll find a perch for you. You know, I don't think Hinkley sees this much traffic in the entire year. Probably right. Or this much activity. And now, here they come by the world-famous Hinkley Library. Home of the world-famous Hinkley Library book. And here they come. Slum goo. Squeaks. And then the foo. And the beak. Behind. The buzzer's beak. You got a lot of room to talk. Oh, somebody just kicked me in the butt. And I think it was boots. I'm not wearing boots, I'm wearing shoes. Start over, David. David says he w we wish he wishes that we had named him Rich. Rich? Because why Rich? So he could run around saying, I'm rich, I'm rich. <laughs> I'm rich, I'm rich, but you're poor, you're poor, son. You're hurting. Let's go find the buzzard roost. And here come those slum goos. You can't see them behind me. Down to check out the old covered bridge and this Hinkley restoration area. Looks like they still got a little bit of work to do. You have a tension headache. How can you be tense on a day like today? This is beautiful out here. That's some sort of a restoration project, isn't it? Lake restoration. What? Oh, lake restoration? You want to check out what? Everything. You want to check out everything here at Hinkley? David says, I've got to check out this old bad fellow covered bridge down at the lake restoration area. Yeah, I do, area. but I don't have any information I can stick on it. Like, I need pictures. I want to stick some pictures, cutouts on it. On a hill. What's that? A snake? No, someone's coat. Oh. Well, don't touch it. Do not touch that coat. Man, look at those ducks out there on the water. Those wild ducks must know they're protected. They're not even flying away. Maybe they know it's not hunting season. And look at the size of that tree. Man, no, those suckers are huge. And they are old. I think my family's coming down here to check out the lake. Huge lake down here. Absolutely huge. Are you a lizard or a whale? I'm a whale. I didn't know you had a Moby dick. You better believe it. It's Mo Moby's all over the place. 
Can I say you're a wizard? It's been mobian in a lot of places that it shouldn't have over the years. It's Are you a wizard or a wizard? I'm a wizard. I didn't know you had crystal balls. You better believe it. Those things can foretell many a woman's future. Well, come on, slum goose. Let's walk around the other way, and then we're going to go find the buzzard roost, okay? Are you a warrior? Uh, you better believe I'm a warrior. I didn't know you had sword balls. You better believe it. Those babies can penetrate anything. Harry, what? That is really uncalled for. Stand up for him. We've had enough of your jokes now, son. Here they come, through the old covered bridge. Now we're going to go over and check out the old log cabin up there on the hill, close up and personal. What is this place, Renee? Just a restored well, log cabin with concrete in between it? I guess so. Well, let's go down to the dam and then take off to the buzzard roost. And there goes David down the steps to the old dam and lake. David, don't walk out over the water there, bud. Stop at the end of land. I don't want you to stop. I don't want you to fall in and get wet, little guy. Looks like they just built a new bridge down there, David. Let's go check it out. Boy, this is pretty neat down through here. That bridge isn't new. David says, wait a minute. Where's all the, where's all the boards to this bridge? Where's the floorboard? I'd say that's a weak effort on the part of Hinkley. Either that or Scoob came down here and breathed on those suckers and they rotted out. What do you think happened, David? What's number two? Number two? Scoo down here with some BP? Yeah. There goes those ducks, little guy. Look at a motor across that water. What do you say? Let's go back up to the car, okay? Let's go back up to the car, little guy, and go find the buzzard roof. Next shot you see will probably be us at the buzzard roost. What? I lied. That's a pretty neat creek coming down here through the woods. And I thought maybe I'd just check out a little bit. David, you have to drop some wee leader, son. This would be the place to do it. David says, Ah, oh, ah. Oh. One more time to drop some pee water. I gotta do it. Right here in the old creek. He says, that feel boy, you had to go. That boy's peeing Niagara Falls. He really had to do it. Good job, little dinkus doodle. He says, down here in the woods in this creek and all these along all these fine bridges. You feel better, guy? Hey. I just flushed. The water. You just flushed the water? Is that what that was? Uh-huh. You feel better? Uh-huh. Good. Now let's go back to the car. Yes, fans, it's hard to believe, but they even come in from Michigan, out of state, to Hinkley to see the buzzards return. Right, little guy? They come from everywhere, all over. Then this thing is known nationwide. Now here we are at the old official buzzard roost. And I think I see a buzzard right now behind the Gary, car. I sure do. She's very sensitive about that. <laughs> no, I meant you. About buzzard you. breath. Give me the shoelaces. Give me the shoelaces. Well, we're going to go up to the official buzzard roost and see if we can find any buzzards. <laughs> you know what we need? What do we need? More binoculars. You need to buy You can these. share, David's. I know. You can walk right up the street, Carol. Don't go through the mud. She right says, here, squat on you. I'll go through the mud. I'll walk over the mud. Where are you guys going? I'm not going that way. Go on that way. We're going right up the path here, honey. All right. Go whichever. Go your... Go the Renee Land way. All right. There she says, I can hardly stand it. I'm at the buzzard roost. You guys gonna check out the scoreboard, Carol, the official scoreboard? Hey, Renee, Sorry. read to me the uh, buzzard scoreboard. What's it say? I have a last sighting, 11.36, 32.1, total sighting, state 3. I can read. Three sightings today? 
Yeah. Is there a buzzard in the uh, glass there? That bird we saw today. That bird we saw today? Yeah. The wingspan wasn't like that. Sure it was. Yeah, it was. The finger type thing were at the back of it. No, I don't think so. I think I'm sure that was a buzzer. Oh, Carol. What? Did you want me to take that dude? Okay, he's a take. Does that make you happy? Yeah. What's his name? He's about as ugly as you are. I don't know. Well, the old buzzards didn't cooperate with us, and we didn't see any flying at the official buzzards roost. Well, we I did too. I saw a crow. But we saw one coming in. Look at the cars lined up. They come from all over the state, the county, everywhere to see this thing. Did you say? I can see a bird. Where? You, an old crow. I see a bird brain. <laughs> Look at that. Hey, kids, if you come over here and throw that straw, they'll come over here and eat it. No, no, they might bite, but go ahead and just pick some and throw it over. Hurry up. I scared him. Didn't scare him. Let me eat well, it out of my hand. All right, but be careful. No, no, that's not a big enough clump, Renee. you got to get a big, huge clump. Then reach out there and see if he'll get some. Look at that horse yeah. eat that stuff. Yummy, yummy, huh? Down all there. there you go, Mr. Horse. Reach it through there where they can get it, son. Watch your yeah, watch your fingers. How you doing, Bootsy? Hey, sweetie. Oh man, he'd like hold that hey, over here. He'd like that big clump, honey. Honey. What's up? He must not be hungry. Give it to the other one. He's hungry. Here come the others. Oh, here come the others. What? Here comes other people, too. I think they can feed our horses. Yes, go here, baby. Where is he? What are you doing, son? You feeding him? Yeah, look, there's a thing. Yeah. That's food. Did you give that horse that uh, grass, oh, David? Cool. Uh -huh. Is he eating it? They were standing out in the middle of the field, and I got out of the car, and they all perked up and looked at me. And so I went and I grabbed some of that grass and held it up, and you should have seen them run. <laughs> I saw them run. Yeah, I know you did. In fact, I thought that one was going to run right through the fence. Well, if you want to eat it, that's a boy. Ah. Good boy. Boy, they like that grass, don't they, Boots? Man, he's getting some big mouthfuls. Well, that's your fault that you didn't eat it last time. Here, buddy. How are you doing, little guy? What are you doing to those horses, huh? What are you doing? You be careful, Daddy. Can I cut his nose, Daddy? Yeah, if you want to. Just be careful. What? There you go. <laughs> Get your... Uh... <laughs> scared the heck out of me. That baby. scared me, too. It scared you, too, didn't it, David? He was saying, get away from my goodies. Hey, David. David, is this just like being down at the old uh, Tricircle D petting farm? Yeah, only I can't pet them. They're petting them. What do you think? Are those horses pretty tame, do you think? Do you think those horses are pretty tame? Yeah. Yeah, because they've been they've been handled, their manes are cut. So they're used to being around people. Do you have horses too? Or do you know about horses? I took a class when I was in college. 
a horseback riding class and I got kind of familiar with the horses. That's an interesting class. I bet. Did I walk up to that one lady's house where we went on the hay ride? She said she'd give me riding lessons. That was Linda Brown. Hey, buddy. Well, David, I think that's probably enough feeding. I don't. Watch here. Here. Don't get the flower here. Don't eat it, but they won't like it. You don't think they'll like it? Now here, now hold it right at the end. They like... Renee, he wants that grass. He's trying to get it from you. I like that. He'll yank it. There it is, buddy. There it is. Come there. I can see why they love the food. They trampled all theirs down and ate all of it. They trampled it down and ate it all, didn't they? So this is good pickings for them. Right? Yeah. Even yeah, if it so is as dry yeah. as a bone. Well, they eat dry food, David. They don't usually have gravy on their hay. <laughs> <laughs> you want gravy on their hay, David? I don't have enough grass here to feed it. Uh, it might bite me. Cheryl says, my kind of man. I didn't think you had a chance in heck with them coming over. That's why I didn't want to get out of the car. <laughs> <laughs> Did you scare that horse, David? No. no. You mean, you're not telling me that they're shaky, are you? Yeah, I am saying the boys will shake off the other boys. Oh, I see. They're trying to assert themselves. Yeah. We're number one and all that kind of stuff. Drop all my stuff. Here, boy. Here, guys. Come and get some hay. Grab a bigger clump, David. Here, David. I feel I'll better if it. the teeth don't get as too close to your hands. Here, David. David. Put the green part towards them. Come on back down here, David. Here, David. Hey, boy. He must not be too hungry. Huh? Renee, give him a chance to finish what he's got. He is not eating it because he's tired. it. get it for How much longer do you kids want to feed these horses, huh? Till they get full? No, I, I, they won't get full. That's it, that's it. What do you say, big boy? Can I pet huh? Him? Do you think I can pet him, Daddy? What do you? Well, yeah. Oh, can yeah. I? Yeah, I think you can pet him. I don't think they're gonna hurt you. You folks have a nice day. You too. Thank you. Bye. -bye. Oh, Bye. Yeah. I know what horses like here. You kids got to pet those horses? Give them that bundle of food, David. That's what those boys like. Is the food. Now, don't get them while they're chewing, David. Okay, you pet them while I'll get you some more food. No, David, just pet the one no, just pet the one that we know is okay. That's hard to believe that those old horses came over like that. I couldn't believe it.
<laughs> Neither could I. I saw them all charging over. Now you saw I was out before David was. Oh, he was lowering his head so I could pat him. I think he was. Renee, give him that last bundle of grass and we're going. Wait, it, it's different bundles because it, it takes... David, get one last bundle of grass to give to your friend. Here, David. Get one Here, left. Boy. Okay. Horses, you don't know how much fun you just afforded me and my kids. Oh, David, come here. This soft. He's really soft, just right here. David, come here. David, get scared. Come here, boy. Come here, boy. Okay, come on, kids. Let's go. We're going to cut this sucker off. One last pile of food for the boys, and now we're gone. Come here. Come here. Uh, these shots are for mom. She'll love them. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, horses, I bid you a fond farewell. Hey, horsey. We'll see you boys later. You guys could use a bath. Okay, come on, kids. Let's go take a little hike down the trail. What did you say, David? I was doing what he was doing. I'm going, these shots are for mom. They love them. Let's roll, kids. Let's roll. Look at that horse. Come on, chew, chew your vittles, boy. Chew your vittles. He says, upside of your head. What's those green things hanging out of your nose there, big boy? Huh? Yeah, I'll see you later, horse. I'll see you later. <laughs> I'll see you at the dog food factory. So long, boys. I think he's out now, isn't he? Isn't he out there moving? Well, you guys probably can't see him. No, he's not out. Did he just fly? See the red head there up on oh, top I of the see tree? It. There he is. Yeah, that's vivid. Boy, that old yeah. red headed woodpecker. What do you think, Boots? Huh? Yeah. Huh? Where is he now? Did he just fly away? Oh, what a shame. Your boyfriend went back to get a uh, camera, didn't he? Yeah, no, the, uh, my telephoto lens. Oh, that's too bad. That's all right. You, you hear him, and then you, you just got to look for him. It took us 10 minutes to figure out where he was. If it's any consolation to you, I got a great shot of him on tape. Okay, great. <laughs> Honey, you ready to move down the trail? Yep. Okay, let's roll. There she goes, heading down to the ledges. Ow. You don't have to walk real fast because it's going to take me a little bit to catch up with you anyway. What do you think, Renee? You think you can get down there without hurting yourself? Yeah! I have to see too Be careful. Pathfinder. Ching that's cook. <laughs> Whatever. Is that right? He should have come with you, with us. But he said he was tired. Can you make it? The question is, can I make it? I can make it. Are you down to the bottom yet, honey? She says, no, I'm in trouble. You didn't hurt yourself, did you? And there's more way down. Okay, well hang on, I'm coming down too. What last fall kind of did you and wait a minute, look where we are now. I know, see? We still haven't gotten all the way down these ledges. I know. 
just a more better way. Man, look at the size of that tree. It goes all the way up to the top. That sucker is huge. Come on, Dad. Wait a minute, I'm coming. Just give me a chance to get around through here. Come on down, honey. We're still trying to get down these ledges. Looks yeah, the fun part's going to be going back up. She finally made it down. Oh, I was waiting for you. I had to guide you down. You didn't guide squat. I did, too. You know what I forgot to do? Huh? I forgot to bring the other battery pack. So when this runs out, I'll be done taping. Then we can what? This is fun, Renee. Look at her. She's just itching to get hurt. It's unbelievable how many people there are out here today. You know it, Boots? Just everywhere. You going to climb up that rock, Bootsy? Uh-huh. All the way up it, you think? I try. You could be in trouble, girl. I don't know. I don't know if you should be climbing up that one, honey. In fact, let's not do it, okay? Mm. Let's not do it. Mm. I'll tell you. I don't want you to fall and get hurt because there's no way I could ever get you back up. And don't forget, we got to get back up these cliffs again. Let's go on down the trail and see what we can see. Okay. I got an idea. You gonna try and find an easier way up there? She says. Yes, sir. If the hard way is too tough, find an easy way. <laughs> Queen of the hill, huh? Just don't drop anything green on my head. Or slimy. Nothing green or slimy, Turk. Okay, come on, let's roll. Let's go on down the trail and see what we can see. I love these ledges. By the way, I guess I should state that it's still Sunday, March 17th, 1991, official buzzard day at Hinkley. And we're at Whip. And where where are we're at Whip's Ledges in Hinkley, right? Just checking it out. Mom and David had to wuss out in the car. They couldn't handle it, but Renee and Dad. And even I know it's a bad Ever ever the Pathfinders, right, Boots? Ever the Pathfinders. When we get out to these woods, we can't be held down. Take a shot up and see what we have to climb back up, folks. Yeah. And ours is that way. Yeah. That's what we have to go back up. Can we do it? Yes. Certainly. Yeah, there the ledges are, right up above us as I drop down. People all over this place. Those ledges are pretty high up, aren't they, Bootsy? Uh-huh. You better well, believe it. Cave. Huh? Those, be careful, you're going through sticker bushes. You better come around and go through on the path. You're going to get all stuck up there. Where are you, Renee? Climbing up. Well, come on, honey. Man, I mean, there are ledges all over this place. I'm right here, Dad. Where? Up. Come on down. Come on. There's go, an easy go, way up right here. All the way up to the top? I don't think so. We have to floor. No, but we want to get all the way up to the top. We got to get over on that side over there. So we got to walk down the ways. I'll show you where we can get up. It's not far from here. Here she comes, Pathfinder, blazing the trail. Just blazing the trail. Are we going up that way? No, yeah, but just around down the edge here is where we uh, where we get up. Her heads down the trail. No, not there, but down. Yeah, let's try right there. I think maybe we can get up right there, Renee. I'll be up to follow. We're going to try and get up right around here. What are you doing, Boots? I thought you were going to try and get up there. I am. Just to the outside and you'll get up. Oh, what a bony butt. Man, that thing is tired. Come on, Boots. Let's roll on up. No, don't do that. Come on, let's walk on up. No, I want to give you a piece of What's wrong, Bootsy? Heart's going. So's mine. Climbing up this cliff. Wet. My back's wet. 
my back's wet too. Climbing up this cliff has not been easy. What cliff do you say? I'll show you in just a minute. This cliff right here, sports fans, doesn't look like much, but when you consider that there was a level plateau and we came from all the way down there, it's been tough. And I'm too old for this stuff. But I love it so much, I just can't give it up. I love these hikes in the woods. Right, Boots? She says, right. Renee, why is your jacket laying on the ground? Hot. I know, because you're hot, right? I'm taking my hair out to put it up in a ponytail. Yep, will you carry my jacket for me, too? Good, I'm burning up. Well, there's not much time left on the tape anyway, Boots. Oh, man. Just walk slow now, honey. We're back up to the top. We don't have to hurry. We don't have to rush. Man, it's a gorgeous day. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that blue sky up there. Hey, if you want to talk sure. it out, fine. Wait, you might take a nasty swing. Don't get it close to the edge, Renee. I know. Please. I think I'll consider this bird. Yeah, a lot of people call that the bird. Would you like, Renee, would you like to do that? Yeah. Neither would I. Huh? When we get back from Florida. In about a week and a half. No, no, in about three weeks. Well, let's head back to the car, okay? Are you still hot? Huh? You still hot? Well, grab my coat and let's head, and your coat, and let's head back to the car. Okay? How long? Well, five minutes to the car. We're very close to the car. Five minutes? Yeah, we're not very, we're, we're very close to the car. Five minutes is not very close. Yeah, it is. Very, very long. It's not long because we're, the worst part's over, climbing back up the hill. Never told you they're cooked for five minutes, have you? Huh? Let's roll. Now here we are in path because I'm lost and I couldn't figure out a way to get back. How? I couldn't find a path to get us to the parking lot. Where the sky is, we'll be out in the open fields and back out of this forest because I just could not find a path to get out. Ugh. But this has not been the easy way to do it, has it, Boots? Uh, uh, you got it. I'm tired, too. Sweat's pouring off of both of us. That's uh, right. On Sunday, March 17th, 1991, Dad pulled a bad the sweat is pouring off of us as we trek out of these woods. Go, Bootsy. I'll let you lead for a while. I'm tired. But never too tired to film, orchestrate, narrate, and direct. And produce. As you slum goose can see, we're still firing our way out of this woods. And getting closer and closer to getting out of it. Renee says, I need me a little set-me-down and not to take a dump. Just to rest. I gotta go pee. You gotta pee? Well, unfortunately, you can't do like David. You'll have to wait till you get to a pot. I can wait. I just want to get there. I gotta tell you, I gotta pee, too. Plus, I'm dying of thirst. Well, honey, why don't you pick it up and let's move on out. Because, look, we're, we're right there. We're almost out of the woods. We only got another 50 or 100 feet to go. Let's get out of here. There goes Her Highness out of the woods into the open fields. Now all we got to do is find the car. Nay and I are in serious trouble, sports fans. We have no idea where we are. Help! We're just out in a big field. I thought we would be back to the picnic area. Is that it? I Honey, I have know. no idea. We're going to have to walk a little further. I just don't know where we are or how well, we got here. Take me a ten year sit me down. Well, unfortunately, you're going to have to go with me because as you can see, there is nothing around us but field and woods. Help! Help! We got to walk the direction you're in going in right now, honey. Right back that way, I believe. In fact, I think there might even be a little driveway there through to the next field. 
That's the picnic area. I sure hope. We know we're in good shape now. We're on the blue trail. Heading back towards the old parking lot and picnic area. Renee says, yes sir, I love it. Yes, and now back to civilization. There's the old car. Renee's thankful to see it, and so am I. We're going to head out of here. Yes, sports fans, it's still Sunday, March 17. You people watching this tape won't believe what's going to happen next, but it's only about 3.30 in the afternoon. Just showing you the way our crocuses are blooming. They're just absolutely gorgeous and getting prettier every day. But now let's see what we have on the porch. There it is. I'm going to be hiding 54 eggs and 31 packets of candy for the Easter egg and candy hunt that GLS is having here at Easter time. And for once, you aren't going to believe it, fans. You're going to be so happy to hear that Carol's going to take me doing this. Yes, the king is going to be on the tape once and may for I, all. May I correct you? Every what? year when we have this Easter egg hunt, you are always on the tape. This is only the second time we've ever done it. <laughs> well, that makes it, that makes it still correct. Yeah, okay, well, now it's time. The next picture you see will be me, so get ready, fans. I know the anticipation Girls! is running high and great. Okay, Gary. Now what are you going to do and where are you going to do it? Well, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take some eggs back in the back of the house and I'm going to hide those suckers. Yes, all you people out there in TV land, it is me, GL. I'm not behind the camera, but I'll do my best to keep this tape entertaining. Who cares? Everyone cares. It's my heritage. It's my birthright. It's my obligation to mankind. Come on, let's go. It's done. All right. Well, we'll be able to count them at the end because we know exactly what we have. That's true. Well, put an egg underneath there. One. One pretty egg. One pretty egg. Yeah, we're going to... You're going to have to find a lot of places because we have a lot of them. Yeah, I know that. I know that. But I'm equal to the task. Easter Bunny always hides them in plain sight. Well, I, I covered that up a little bit. It's not... Okay, that's okay. That's cool. It's not totally... Important. That's cool, Gary. See, it's not... You All right, close. there's the egg. Yeah. That is kind of hard, Gary. That's not... Well... The most is what? I hope the color doesn't come off. The color's not going to come off, Carol. It's fine. Okay. Believe me. What a shot. I better get back here. Give it a wide angle. He said they're going to work for him this year a little bit. I'm not going to make it that easy. All right. Serious wide angle. You know? What wide angle? Nothing. There's one on the fence. All right. No, I think I'm going to put everything on the ground. Eh, make them look up and down. So you cover it up with those... Uh, Dead flowers. Flowers and grass and stuff like that. Makes a, it's a little bit more. We're going to have to move a little bit, Dad, or this is going to take till past four the way you're doing it. That's all right. No, what are you doing? Oh, you got to go on. Well, I'm. Okay. <laughs> we were interrupted by Amanda saying, What are you doing? Yeah. Well, and she's going to run over to Martina and say, Look in the mulch. That's all right. That's good. We're going to tell them where to look. Here, don't put too many over here. We've got lots of places. I've got a lot of places. Don't worry, huh? Yep. <laughs> Let them look for those suckers this year. Oh. As long as they tr don't trample them in the process. I'm trying not to. I say they. Gary, I'm getting some great shots of you. Huh? <laughs> I've had shots your butt the whole time. Well, that's okay. I mean, what do you expect? Okay, now let's get back in here. They're expecting a lot of them to be put back in here. Put them in the nooks, crook, crooks of the trees and stuff. That's no problem. How's that? That's great. Huh? Let me get on that, babe. See, that? that's pretty good. Yeah, put one up in the trees. So they no, can... not in the trees. 
Ah. Ah, trees don't grow eggs. Neither do ground. Ah, ground. That's where chickens lay on the. When you're ahead. There. How about in this bush? Huh? Just, yeah, I'll here. put one in the bush. There, how's that? Grabbed me. Packet of candy right in there. That's pretty nifty. Here, I'll tell you where I'll put it. an egg. Only why don't I put a... Bright colored one. Well, I was going to think of one that would be a little harder to see. How's that? That's great. Okay. But trees don't grow eggs. <laughs> no, that's true, they don't. Doesn't much matter, does it? No. Well, yeah, let's see, we'll put, we'll put an egg right in here. Make them hunt for those suckers. Over on that little green tree. Huh? In the green tree. What little green tree? Behind you. Here? That's not very green. That's green enough. Well, how about the little evergreen? Well, you got to give me a chance to go. You know? We still have another 18 eggs to hide after those. No problem. No problem at all. Here. Let's see if anybody can find that sitting right in the tree. That's cool. How's that? There's one. <laughs> we'll see if anybody sees this one. Here, it will be back in about a half hour. Half hour? Okay. Yeah. Now we all know trees don't grow jelly beans either, but this is now an official jelly bean tree. There. Hide these suckers real good all over the place. Ah. Uh. Yeah, what we get 54 eggs and 31 bat packets of candy. Yep. Oh, mercy, mercy, mercy. There's a little bush right here that you ignored. Huh? The dogwood over here, you ignored it. You gave it nothing. Nothing. It deserves something. Good. You got it right. Gary and his little baskets of goodies. You got it. Are you using the twist eyes? Excellent. I'm glad I left them longer. Okay. Yeah, those work out pretty good. You taping? Yeah. Okay. It is what you want, that. Oh, this Japanese holly's making a comeback. Good. Yeah. I'd say so. I kind of like to make them work for a few of them. You know? Yep. See if anybody will look up and find that one. <laughs> Well, the older kids will. Yeah. <laughs> if they don't notice it, it will smack them in the face. Yeah, well, what the heck. Yeah, here's just a little hole out here. We'll put that one kind of hide it a little. No, it's probably best to put them where they're not going to just walk by and step on them. Right. Don't you agree? Right. So that's why it's good to put them by the, the bushes. Yep. Put that one right in there. Throw one right, right in there. And I'll tell you, we got a lot of eggs to hide still. That's okay. I love it. I love it. This one right down here. Yeah, that's it real good. 
you leave this. Don't hide it too well. Huh? Don't hide it too well. Yeah. Pull one on the crook of the tree again. Huh? Well, there's one right there. Then put a bag of candy in the crook of the tree. Yeah. On my side. Here, there. I'll put one in the crook of the tree here. Oh, there, how's that? Good. That's a just fitter. Well, let's see. Now we got new growth getting ready to come out here. Yep, always do. Those things really do well. There. We can go around the other side of the house, too. There. Here, we've got stuff around the side and front of the house where we can hide things. Huh? I like those jelly bean packets hanging from the trees. Gary's been told to put a jelly bean packet on another limb. I've been told squat. It was suggested and I thought it was a decent idea. <laughs> you hear and you obey. Yeah. In your wildest dreams, I hear and I obey. Good job. There, how's that looking, huh? Good job. Okay. Now, let's see. Yeah, that pine tree over there is going to die. Yeah, but this one's looking pretty good. Okay. Now let's see over here. Put a candy packet up in one of the limbs. I'm going to. Good job. See? He says, I hear and I obey. I'm going to slap your head if I hear that hear and obey. If I hear, hear and obey one more time. I hear and I obey. Get it right. I obey squat. Okay. Now, oh, well, I guess I can. Might as well, yeah, what the heck, I'll jam a candy right Really? There. Jam it? Good. Right there. Good. Let somebody work for that one a little bit. All right, yeah, this is going well. Going well. I just hope they can find all of this stuff. Oh, you can always help them. I might have to go back and play the tape while... Gary says, I hear and I obey. There, I'll put that one right in the tree. Whoops. Nice job. Uh, I don't know too... if this tree's big enough to hold it. It'll hold a candy packet. There. There it is, little eggy poo. The egg's right in it, and it's easy to see. Put one here. Put a candy packet up here. How about this big bush underneath the kitchen window? You could put an egg right in the branches there. See? Yeah. There are places where you could put them. Yeah, I'm sure I can find a place to put one. There, how's good. that? Good, good, good. And we'll throw a candy right there. That's a gimme. <laughs> Anybody that can handle it. Oh, I'll tell you what. Here's a good place for an egg. Right in the daffodils. Yeah. Good job. That looks cute. We'll pull. How about a little bush here? That little bush needs something, Daddy. There, it's got it. That's not a bush, that's pampas grass. The bush is over my way. Oh, that's so obvious. Okay. No, it isn't. I gotta spread it out a little bit. We've got over 18 more eggs. That's alright. We'll still spread it out. There. Got a little, little candy there. Right, right there. Alright. I'm make them move around a little bit for it for crying out loud. How about down by the lilac bush? Huh? Yeah, we'll put some stuff down there too, I guess. We can put them by the green boxes too. Huh? 
And we'll put a... Now be careful, that stuff's kind of scratchy for the kids. Yeah, we'll put an egg there. And put a candy packet there. Man, if they ever get all this stuff found. Hey, there's a... Gary found one of the eggs and somehow gotten in there. Yeah, one of those plastic eggs. Okay. That sucker needed to be up on the... You taping? Yeah, I've been just going to the bunnies and stuff. Okay, let's see. Where's the, uh, oh. The first out of hump. Let's see. If I do this, it's one. You think? They might. Well, we can they point might. it out. They might It's notice. white. Our kids will notice. But, I mean, the, the Easter button. Oh, yeah. Oops, I cracked that. Easter bunny. Gary's got himself a ginger touch. These Easter bunnies should be giving out things. No question about Absolutely. It. I mean, you got it. The Easter Bunny's got to be giving out things. Easter Bunny's got to get into it. You got it. And these bunnies are, they say they've got the goods to pass out. And by golly, they do. Those boys have got the goods. We'll set one. We'll set one right here. Pretty stuff, yeah. Here, here's Put another them down one by there. the lilac bush. Huh? Put them down by the lilac bush. There. What lilac bush? The one that I don't like. Okay, we'll put a candy and eggs down there. There, we got the... Put an egg right in the lilac bush. Huh? Got an extra egg or... Yeah, I got an extra bag. How's that? Good. Good? You can put an egg in there too. I'll put an egg right here. There, how's that? Good job. How about down by the lamppost? Well, as you, you can see, the baskets are rapidly getting empty. Rapidly, but we still have 18 eggs. That's okay. That's not going to be a problem. There's some candy down there. Put an egg down here. There. Over, now, by, this... over by the green boxes, Gary. That's a good place. Over there. Uh, no, I'm not going nope. down there. These boxes are empty. Now Gary's diligently placing the eggs in the big basket so he can distribute more. That's right, sports fans. When we do it, we do it upright. 54 eggs, 31 packets of candy. And I'm glad it's not any more than that because I'm getting tired from bending over. Well, I can always put some of them. No, on. no, no, no. This is my, this oh, this is my right party here. here. Needs something. Well, this... Oh, oh yeah. Oh, I broken. broke that egg, dog. God, I can't push him down. I gotta. Yeah. They, I gotta remember that they either. No, I don't want to put anything around that rose nope. bush. Nope, 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 nope. Good job. Oh. Among the tulies. Yeah, right in these flowers and daffodils. And the daffodils. Oh, perfect. Just perfect. But in the crocus right there by your feet. The purple one in the purple crocus, Gary. Huh? There. You might as well stick one more in here. Sure. There. Can you find a place in that pine tree? In it? Yeah. Yeah, right up here. Good. Whoops, that didn't work. Let's forget about trying to put them in the trees now, okay? Okay. Now we're down to 54, 52 eggs. I've done them broken, too. How about behind the bushes? Can you do that without knocking a bunch no, of eggs off? No, because the kids will have to go back there and I might how about, not... How about the corner there? No, let's go back into the island. Okay. There. One in little itty bitty evergreen. Yep. And I thought I had something over here in this azalea, but I guess I don't, so I'll stick one right back there. How about where the fence and the house meet? 
Gary says, good idea. I hear and yeah. I obey. I don't obey squats. <laughs> I didn't like that idea. I thought it stuck. Close enough. I'm satisfied. Take a look and see if it's turning. Can you, would you look over there? Is it yeah. turning? Yeah. Okay, well, I think it's probably time to, uh, we're going to have to go with a new tape for the hunt. You saw me plan it, but we're going to have to go with a new tape for the hunt because this one's about done. Found a place for an egg. Go ahead. You finish hiding them. We'll let Carol do the rest of the eggs. There's only about six or seven left, so she's going to hide them. There's one. Besides, you fans are, you folks, I think you prefer me behind the camera rather than in front of it. Well, I know I prefer I mean, I know I'm when, good in either place. I know place. I prefer, prefer seeing it when you're not I know, in it. I know I'm good in either place, but we, you just, oh yeah, along that fence there, we didn't put anything. Hide them back there amongst the ivy. All right. That's going to be it. I doubt that the kids will be able to find all of those things. How much weight did you gain while your mom was uh, staying with you, Carol? A couple pounds. Oh, okay. I was just curious. Yeah, you were going to be ugly. No, I wasn't. I was just asking. You're the king of ugly. No, I was just asking. Married to the queen of ugly. In fact, when you look ugly up in the dictionary, there's a picture of Carol. Blowing a fart. Oh, and that's it. She just done. placed the last egg in the fence. The eggs and the candy are hidden. Yep. We're going to change the tape and... Please remain sitting at all times, please. Ten bucks, too. They look bigger on TV. The tidal wave. The tidal wave. Go get him, boys! Go get him, Nico! Look at JJ! JJ and Lucas duking it out. Lucas wants to nail JJ bad and boom, he got him! Now they're going toe to toe. Who's gonna get who? <laughs> now here comes Nico. Go, Nico, get your money's worth. That boy is still excited about Lori's shorts. Come on, boy, get pumped up. Man, that is gorgeous. The old butterflies. And of course, behind us is the uh, flamingo pen. I gotta get a shot of those or Lori would kill me. Right.